Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Ascension Runs. Uh, there's been some updates. There are new potions. There's actually potions for each of the characters. Character-specific potions. There was the Focus Potion, which was a Defect exclusive one, but now the Poison Potion is a Silent exclusive one. And there are other potions, like Ironclad, Heart of Iron gives you six Metallicize. There's Potion of Capacity for the Defect, which gives you... Uh, some number of orb slots. Essence of Darkness for the Defect, which is a potion that gives you... I mean, we can just look. Uh, it gives you one dark for each orb slot. <laughs> which doesn't mean it fills your orb slots with dark orbs. It'll evoke orbs that you have and then fill everything with dark. Th there's some very interesting new potions having been added. And also the elixir is back. So, weird stuff. Um, ooh, uh, sorry, patch notes. Brilliance has been reworked. Collect has been reworked. Diva form has been reworked. Through violence now retains. So let's look at these changes and kind of take a look at them a little bit because we're, you know, playing the Watcher to kind of see what the Watcher does. Collect, instead of giving you two energy, gives you a miracle. I kind of like it because it means you can hold on to it for a powerful turn. Uh, Brilliance has been changed. Heal HP. X times. So you could, you know, collect, save a lot of HP, and then play Brilliance. Diva form. At the start of your turn, gain energy and increases gain by one. Interesting. So Diva form, instead of giving you just a lot of plated armor, which was really good, now you just gain a lot of energy. Kind of annoying because you pl you pay three energy for one energy next turn. And, and then two energy the turn after that, three energy the turn after that, etc., etc., but considering how easy it is to get energy in the Watcher deck, I don't see this being that playable anymore, because who cares about, you know, delaying a combat for 30 turns to get 50 ener to get 33 energy? It just doesn't seem to matter. And Master of Reality um, was changed, but I guess they changed it back. Choose Smite or Safety. Cool. Uh, and I think that was the only major changes... Unless I missed something, just take a quick two-second look. Diva form, brilliance, collect, through violence is now retained. That was the other one. Okay, let's play a run. On the last run, we lost on Ascension Level 4, so let's play another Ascension Level 4 run and play around with the new changed cards. Brilliance is a T-pose. I can definitely see brilliance being... Yo, I'm gonna go for the rare relic. At the end of your turn, gain two block for each card in your hand. Good against the sentries. Uh, I do see Brilliance being more playable. I see it being playable, especially if you have something like a... Wow, there's only a two elite path. Uh, I see it being uh, super playable if you have um, Chemical X, because you just get free healing with Chemical X now. That seems pretty good, honestly. I can kill you. Also, there was more uh, card artwork, I believe, but I didn't actually take a look at that like I should have. So Eruption plus Strike, it'll do 21 damage, should be... No. Yes, 21 damage should be more than enough to kill. Evaluate. Gain six block, shuffle an insight into your draw pile. The insights are nice. Sash Whip is also pretty good to apply weakness. I do like Sash Whip and uh, Crush Joints better than... I forget the name of the card. You have to be in a state for it to apply status effects, though. Um, so I'm going to go Sash Whip because it's an attack. I think you still want attacks early. Okay. 12 damage. I'm okay saving... Oh, forgot about that. I'm okay saving the Miracle so that we can kind of go harder on a turn like this. Like, Vigilance, Miracle, Eruption, Sash Whip. Yeah, Vigilance, Miracle, Eruption, Sash Whip. Defend. Next turn, we should be able to kill him. Dude, I'm not at all paying attention to that. I really should. <laughs> this, it's, it's good block, turn after turn. You just have to actually, you know, play it. I think Fasting is really good. Fourteen damage, dude. You know what? 
I will play the fasting and everything else. Again, not paying attention to cloak and clasp. Uh, but just being able to protect myself from a little bit of annoying damage seems pretty good. And I will, I will erupt. I'm not scared. You know, we're not going to be frail this turn. It means we can put up enough block. He's attacking anyways, or he's buffing anyway, so it doesn't matter. Good. Wave of the hand. That's the one. It does apply more, but you have to be in state for it to apply, which I don't like. Do we really need another Sash Whip? Honestly, the weakness could be pretty decent. Remove a card. I'll do it for the HP. Let's remove a... Let's remo remove an attack, because we've added two Sash Whips. I'll go hard on this. Art of War. Don't love it. We will rest first before the Elite. And fight one Elite. This is not that bad. You do want Fasting. Ten block, you know, honestly with Cloak Clasp, maybe we should go Retain. Vigilance is coming up, because if we Retain... Actually, we have a lot of energy this turn. This is a good turn for this. Uh, if we Retain, we can get a lot of block for free. Like, if we have uh, ten cards in hand that are Retained, that's twenty block. It's obviously pretty good. I don't love this fight, but I really do think that we should kind of slow play it a little bit. That's enough block. I ran the math that time. Just kind of wait for eruption. Go to town. And then when you get vigilance, you calm down. So maybe this fight will actually go, you know, perfectly fine. Dude, actually? Did we take any damage? That's pretty good. Retain, or meditate. I love meditate. And actually, with Cloak Clasp, this is also block now. So I will take a meditate, and we'll see if we can make something happen with that. Hmm. Okay. We'll take no damage. We did need to pick... You know what? We didn't need to play the block, because even though we played the block, we would have gained two additional block by not playing it, and we didn't even, we would not have to play the miracle. Dude, cloak, clasp. Weird card, but I understand it. Just have to actually do it correctly. Um, so if we play the strike, we will gain free block. It just seems like a better orc outcome, kind of. Okay, we're taking no damage. Okay, now that now that I'm actually playing around with it, Cloak Clasp is incredible, and we definitely need to be playing it correctly. Because if you play it correctly, you just you're you're fine. You don't take any damage. I do like evaluate. It is block with Cloak Clasp. Weave, I don't love. Consecrate, I mean, it is good crowd control, but I think I'd rather go for something like Evaluate. I, I like the cards in the Watcher deck that give you benefits. Centennial Puzzle, huh? I'll take it. And what I mean by that is I, I like the... I like the cards that give you a benefit, but like adding retains, adding draws, stuff like that. Because they seem to be, you know, very effective. <sighs> okay, so if we retain, we get block. So we don't need to worry about playing everything. We might take a little bit of damage on the turn, but that's okay, because we will draw for the next turn. Okay. We should attack. And right now we're taking no damage. So I'm kind of thinking, end turn, you gain 10 block from Cloak. And then what do you do here? Okay, well if you play Vigilance Meditate, you will get one, uh, one two, three, four, five, you'll get 18 block. 
So you should probably play the Defend. If you play Vigilance Defend, you'll gain one, two, three, four. You'll gain an extra eight, which means you'll, you will have enough block. So we're gonna slow play this fight a little bit, but you know, getting the, the dazes, they're actually not that bad because they they will count as block. And if we just hold on to Miracle, that's two block every turn by not playing it. I think we're gonna be fine against the sentries, although it is gonna be a little bit slow. Hey Morgiliath, how you doing? We should try to kill this guy. Which means we have to erupt, which means we'd have a lot of energy, but we wouldn't have the draw, but we can always Sneko oil. Um, unlikely to draw Vigilance. We drew. <laughs> I mean, which is good. I just wish I could kill you. Uh, I think I am going to Sneko. Even if it just draws the Dazes, that's 18 block and we remove the dazes. Now, Miracle is expensive, but at least it's still two block every turn. And now that we've killed an enemy finally, we're gaining way more than enough block to, to worry about the sentries. If, if we just end turn, we take no damage. But because of the Miracle, we can play one card and still take no damage. We can play two cards, I think. I don't know why we're drawing more. No, now we're only drawing five. So, I don't know, there's something strange about it. Something feels strange, but yeah, this, this, this is fine. This is perfectly acceptable. I'll take that insight. Get through the dazes a little bit faster. I still would rather not have them, of course. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm understanding now. Cloak Clasp. I thought it was going to be like common garbage. Nah. I, it's probably not rare, but it's almost certainly not going to be common. I want to upgrade that Meditate, because that is a pretty cool card. 16 plus 12 is 28 plus 9. That should be enough. 16 plus 12. 28 plus 9. Yeah. Shovel. Now you got me thinking, and I hate having to think. Now, do you upgrade or do you just farm relics? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I want to upgrade, but at the same time, relics are really cool. Hand of Greed. You can make a Hand of Greed work. It's, it's a little late. Maybe you'd just rather take Orcalcum. <laughs> Remove a like basic defend. Hit up the camp. Start digging for relics. I, I do like the shovel because it means on the second floor we don't need to worry about. Let's go. You don't need to worry about um fighting elites. You can just hit the campfires and then get as much block as you possibly can, which is really good. If only I could use a body slam with the cloak clasp. Yeah, I could see that. But we do get a lot of, you know, like just having a little bit of extra block every turn is often enough to make sure that you're not taking any damage. It's kind of cool. Pray, gain mantra, shuffle a miracle into your draw pile. I don't like it. And the reason is I want, I usually want draw as opposed to extra energy, at least right now. I feel like pray is not amazing. I'll dig. Yo, that's a good dig. <laughs> I immediately feel good about that decision. Now, are we gonna erupt? Vi Miracle, Vigilance, Eruption, two energy, Sash Whip, Strike. We'll gain two block, we'll have 10 block, we kill one of them, we'll take zero damage. Okay. 
Vigilance. Miracle. Eruption. Strike. Sash. Gain two block. Am I saying I dig Pantograph? I will say it, Dino Caden, I dig Pantograph. Twelve, huh? It's not free. Because it's not free, I think a beam cell might be what we want. Because we should be able to kill one and me actually we can kill both on this turn. It's 11. Beam cell, sash, you're dead. Meditate, hold on to a sash whip, kill him on the next turn. We actually also drew from Ink Bottle, which gave us a little bit of extra energy. Weird. We also entered Vigilance because of Meditate! Hey, I completely forgot about that. Alright, let's take 10 block for free. I'm liking the run so far. Bottled Miracle, add two Miracles to your hand. Which means, for one potion, we get four block every turn, if we don't play him. That seems really good. I'm gonna keep digging. Bag of prep, two extra, or four extra block, turn one. I really dislike this opening though, because we can't really do a lot of damage, but it is what it is. And we also did not get eruption, unfortunately, so I don't think we can kill him. So if we attack, Sash Whip, Sash Whip, that's 16, it's 24 damage, not nearly enough, but we can weaken him and then put up a little bit of block. I mean, if it's literally as good as it gets, it's as good as it gets. There's Eruption. We we ink bottled it, unfortunately. Dude, Talk to the Hand is incredible here. We just, we gained so much block right now, I love it. <laughs> we still need to, like, add things to the deck that gives us additional... Yo, we can insight and then retain and gain two block every turn. We need to add in more retain cards because it'll synergize well with Cloak Clasp, but unfortunately I don't, I haven't seen any good opportunity to, to take those cards. We should have hit him. Where's a runic pyramid when you need one? Yo, that's a very good idea. This might be a, an opportunity to do that because we would like to retain everything. Energy would be a bit of a problem, but I guess with Art of War, you can play the defensive. So I would like to Vigilance and get that insight into the draw pile. We have to do a, a lot of damage, and I don't think we're going to be coming close to doing enough. I'm looking for Eruption. We'd have to erupt on this turn to get him through the armor. Admittedly, we don't do a lot of damage right now, but, you know, here's hoping we can change that a little bit. Damn, we shuffled. Ink bottle, I wasn't paying attention to it. It led us to shuffle. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. We should be able to draw Vigilance, though, even if we have to play Insight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we got 12 block right now. I'll play it. It's worth doing. I need to be more aggressive, I'm realizing, because of Talk to the Hand. Maybe not now, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's let's hit him. We took one damage, then we'll block, then we'll meditate, bring back Sash Whip. Eruption, gain two energy, we'll have three. Strike, Vigilance? Eruption, Sash Whip, Vigilance? 
Corruption. Sash. Vigilance. That's a weird turn, but it worked. Dude, I'm never gonna play this miracle. This miracle is gonna stay, stay in my hand forever. Even curses are desire desirable now? Nah, not really. I mean, we also have Omamora. We passed up on the relic that gives you block when you have a curse. Don't need him. Don't need him. I will play that though. We want as many insights into the draw piles as we can get, so. Also gives us extra energy, which is nice. Um, I will. Dude, honestly? Why not just do this? Hold on to the insights. We get so much block from them. And honestly, here, because he doesn't have thorns up, we should just attack him because we're getting block from talk to the hand. Such a weird run. I don't think we're going to do 32 damage to him, but I don't think we're taking damage. So that's draw. That's weakness. Oh no, he's doing 27 damage! We'll take one. <laughs> we just picked up 16 block for free from the cloak. I'm loving the cloak. I am. Now we have four insights in hand. Like, if we if we ever need to play them for draw, we can. But if we hold on to them, that's 10 block every turn passively. That's really good. Sure, add in another one. See if I care. I might as well hit him. He's dead. That was a weird, long, dangerous, but kind of cool fight. Remember you scry gain block? We literally have zero things at scry. Metaphysics is a, an upgraded, it's retain, but it's a card that can give us max block, 20 block on a turn passively with cloak clasp. If we have a lot of retain cards, we can hold on to them permanently. Metaphysics, it doesn't do anything when you play it, though, which is what I don't like about it. Yeah, you get a, a causality that you can draw 10 cards with, in theory. But unless you have Unraveling, what are you really going to do with those cards? Well, ideally, draw your gas, but if you can't select the card to begin with, because causality gets shuffled into your draw pile, then by the time you get causality, you've already gotten your good cards out. I just don't see the the point of it necessarily. It does synergize a little bit with Cloak Clasp, so I'm definitely considering it, but I think I'd rather just kind of skip, weirdly enough. What do you want here? You know what? Fusion Hammer? Even though you can't upgrade, we can always shovel. We're going to take it. We don't need to upgrade because of the fact that we have Shovel. And if we get Lesson Learned, we can just use that card to upgrade the deck. But I think having the extra energy is pretty nice. So, what do we do? I think we go to a late shop, hit up as many campfires as possible. There's three on this path, one on this path. We're going to hit up this path. Camp, question mark, question mark, camp, question mark, shop. We want every single campfire. Cool, okay. Okay, I like it. So meditate. Meditate's such a a cool card. We don't need to play it on this turn. We can just hit him, but it's such a cool card. I would like to upgrade it so you could retain two cards, and I would like to get establishment so that you can actually get the uh, free value out of retaining cards, make them free forever, but that's okay. Oh weird, it's got a yellow border if it has a bonus effect. That's pretty cool. You're doing 11 damage. We have 8 block. We have 11 block. And we're not going to become frail. End turn. Hold on to the miracle forever. 22 damage. Corrupt. 16, that's not nearly enough, so let's do this, 
Six. Plus six. We'll take four? We have Pantograph. We don't need to be at full health constantly. I think we'll be fine. Whoa. Keep forgetting about Ink Bottle. Such a weird card. I'm going to Vigilance, because if we draw our Eruption, we can Insight and then kill. There you go. Well, actually, you need to be able to actually get some better attacks. That's not going to do it. I hate it, but I think we got to slow play just a little bit more. Um, let's... I guess we could have erupted and then meditate, meditated, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, we are taking no damage. Let's meditate and hold on to a Sash Whip. Why is that art on meditate? Why is the monk pierced by a hockey stick? Meditate, meditate. That's not even close to a hockey stick. I don't know what you're seeing. But what you're seeing is not what I'm seeing. Uh, I would really like to Miracle Strike, but because we're not killing him, let's wait. Hit him, hit him. He's still not dead! He's still not dead! Doing 16 damage. Well, there's your block. We're definitely slow playing these fights, but part of that is because we just don't have a lot of offense. We have a lot of defense with Cloak Clasp. Dude, Inner Peace fits. We have a lot of uh, defense with Cloak Clasp, but everything else is just like, eh. Do we want three strength turn one? Honestly, give me the transform. I like what we have, so let's transform Strike Defend. We get Empty Body, which exit your stance and blocks, and then Simmering Fury, which enters Wrath on your next turn. If you Simmering Fury into a Meditate that holds onto a card, I can see that being pretty decent. Let's add a card. I think Protect works, because it's two block passively and a whole bunch of block when you play it. Crush Joints is also interesting, so we can deal more damage. Talk to the Hand for more block. Dude, you know... No, what about Collect? You get upgraded Miracles, which will give you passive block. So it's either Protect, Collect, or Talk. I am going to go for... <sighs> Whenever I try Collect, it never works, but Talk to the Hand is just really good. It's not good offense, but because you get block whenever you attack, it's it's not too bad. Another sash whip. I don't think we need we need another sash whip. Cut through fate though. Drawing one card is effectively block, so that doesn't seem too bad. This could be an opportunity to simmering fury as well. But let's talk to the hand. Sash whip. We have plenty of block, so why don't we? <sighs> Why don't we... Simmering Fury. We have Vigilance and Meditate coming up. And actually now, we know what we're going to be drawing. I actually do want to play Fasting. Yeah, that was 12 block. Okay, 42 damage. We can Empty Body. We can... Well, actually, that's the only way we can do it. I guess we had three different things that allowed us to exit the, exit the stance. <laughs> but we can't attack. So we can't get Sash Whip to apply weakness. Lovely. Well, we do want to hit Fasting. We would like to put up some block. We would like to put up more block. So the um, Simmering Fury was completely worthless, but everything else was good. Again, we are running into a bit of a problem of not being able to actually, like, do attacks, but... <laughs> you know, we'll get there one day, we'll get there one day. So we're gonna end with Meditate. Inner... Vigilance? 
Inner Peace, Miracle, Eruption, Enturn, Meditate, Sash Whip? No, 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 no. What about Simmering Fury? Ooh. No, this is still fine. We're going to have to play it a little bit differently, though. We're going to... Inner Peace. We're going to Sash. We're going to Meditate Inner Peace so we can exit our Wrath state. We're going to enter Wrath. We're going to have Insight that we can play for draw. We can hit you. We can hit you. We punch. We did damage. <laughs> We're going to draw. We're going to do more damage. You're doing... He's doing about 15. 15 or 16 damage, which means we, we pretty much have enough block. This will get us there, but I'd much rather just enter Calm State, really. That's why we drew. I always forget about that. And uh, Meditate Vigilance coming up. Why don't we Simmering Fury again? This might be a weird run where we actually do want to uh, change states very frequently, which could be kind of cool. I, I never really have, I've never really done that before. But like right now, I'm thinking, okay, why don't we vigilance, then erupt? You get energy, sash whip, sash whip. We can actually stay in the state. Oh, you're dead. We finally done it. <laughs> yeah, weird. Um, but it's kind of working, dude. Retain. Probably always going to take a retain card at this point. Add five cards. No, thank you. Scrying is good. Conclude. No. Dark Shackles. Yes. Draw. No. The bomb. You know, the bomb is a nice passive build. And we're kind of doing that. But maybe maybe we can Wrath and Calm repeatedly. Maybe we have a run that we can make that work with. Now, there's going to be a later shop. I actually feel like saving my gold not buying anything because I don't really like any of the options here and we're just gonna keep bypassing the elites we'll keep digging toy ornithopter whenever you use a potion heal glad we didn't use the fruit juice yet because yoink okay it's not a great turn but at least we can scry we actually probably want to play that. We might want to play the Bottled Miracle, though, on the next turn, because we we are going to want to put up a lot of block against these guys. We don't we do not do damage quickly, so I'm, I'm very worried. Dude, I love Thunderclap. So we're going to... We're going to Thunderclap first, because I think I can get a kill. Oh, we definitely can get a kill. I mean, 24-24 does it. We're gonna want to talk to the hand of one of them. Let's kill one of them. We're gonna take eight damage, but you know, there's only one enemy remaining. I know I said that we don't do a lot of damage, but I guess maybe in certain situations we do, because so, I mean, so far, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, that worked totally fine. Cost, costs less for each stance changed. Uh, we don't have an energy problem. Do we care about scrying at the beginning of each turn? Blue bug, hello, welcome. How you doing? Um, I mean, scrying, scrying is nice. I'll do it. Heal whenever you enter a shop. Well, we're going to go to a shop later on the floor anyways. Ornamental fan, play attacks, gain block. Um, we're not going infinite with attacks, so I'm just going to take the key right here. I would like to do the heart, of course. That's what this, these runs are all about anyways. Thank you. 
Thunderclap, go for the Eyes Rampage. We have enough things that apply weakness. Applying a vulnerability could be nice. Although Rampage getting stronger turn after turn is also good, especially with the um, Meditate, we can kind of bring it back over and over again. So let's play it. We have more than enough block thanks to a Clasp. 24 damage. Well... Are we there? Yes! If we're there, we might as well fast defend with the energy that we have. Because now we won't become uh, frail and weak. There's Meditate. Really wanted to hit the uh, Rampage with that, but unfortunately, we don't got it. I don't know what to do on this turn. <laughs> I'll just, I guess I'll just hit you for a tiny amount of damage and then, you know, just put up 30 block. Weirdly enough, I feel like we're okay against this guy. If I play Foresight, we'll take damage. I'd rather not take the damage. We're definitely slow playing it, but that's kind of just what this build is is doing, you know? 9 plus 12. That's 21 damage, not enough. Let's insight. Empty body gain block, 8 plus 7 plus 6. Dude, honestly, this might just be a safety safety. But if you Vigilance Eruption, you'll have 2 energy remaining. He's gonna be doing 48 damage. Nah, 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 nah. Just give me a in fact, do we even need a safety? No, because we have a ton of cards in hand. Instead, Vigilance, Strike, Evaluate, more than enough block. Keep slow playing it. And now you go to town. You're going to have good draw next turn. Simmering Fury, all that's good. You might as well scry next turn, and then you might as well meditate and hold on to another Sush Whip. As much offense as possible. I want him. Strike. Rampage. Sanctity, establishment, flying sleeves. Uh, I'll take an establishment, please. We would love to retain every card we could possibly get our hands on. Now, I know I'm spending gold removing a card, but I kind of like the idea of doing this, actually. I'll take the decks. I hate having two shops, but, you know, we can just bail on the other shop instead. Worship, signature move can only be played if there are no other attacks in your hand. Uh, discovery, conclude, crescendo, retain, enter, wrath. You know, let's keep thinning out the deck. Thin deck has been kind of working. If this is a contender for the slowest run, we might have a winner here. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a slow run. But I love establishment. Establishment, deceive reality, meditate is a winning combination. Maybe not actually winning, but it's pretty good. Now the safety and the deceive reality are both free forever. I love it. I love it. So, we'll fast. We could erupt attack vigilance. Let's see what we get. Rip and tear. We could erupt attack vigilance. Can we put up 31 block? We might be able to put up 31 block. Erupt. Three energy. Miracle, rip and tear, strike, we'll do 12. Nine plus 12. 21. If this hits the guy on the right, we'll erupt. Okay. So now we will erupt. Strike. Oh no, you only have... Uh, no, look, we got the energy. Don't worry about it. 13. That'll put us to 22 block or 5, which will put us to 14 plus double. Um, I mean, I will play to see reality. 
because it, it adds a free safety to our hand, and then we'll play the other safety to make sure we take no damage. There you go. Foresight means we can definitely hit Calm, so we will Foresight Simmering Fury. It's actually not bad, especially Rip and Tear if you're going to have double damage. Um, we don't need to draw. Might as well just add that, you know, insight to the draw pile. <laughs> so we want Vigilance. We also have an insight coming up. We're going to have a lot of cards. Actually, didn't get to insight, but, you know, at least we have Rip and Tear. Sash. And Meta... Actually, we can stay in the Wrath state. Although, with Eruption coming up, why would we not just exit the state? You know, play Vigilance, meditate, put a card in your hand that'll be free. And now you have Eruption and you're like, oh, hey, that's awesome. We'll Erupt. Do damage. Do damage. Do damage. We're getting a lot of block every time we hit him. Love it. I have to admit, I, I am tempted to take a wave of the hand because we do have a lot of state changes that we do. This might actually be a good time to take it, but Brilliance, being that this has been changed to provide healing, this means that we can uh, delay on fights, heal up. You know, if we have a lot of draw and a lot of block, keep ourselves at full, enter full HP, and then, you know, do more digging. Because I would like to do as much digging as possible. And Mummified Hand is actually pretty nice. Makes a card like this much better. Establish Foresight. Talk to the Hand. Sash Whip. I do like a dash. Especially if we can make it cheaper. I think we should also maybe play... a Potion. Question is what kind of Potion? Skill Potion? We can wait next turn on a skill potion. I have to admit, entering Wrath State next next turn scares the shit out of me, but I'm gonna do it anyways. No, 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 let's wait on it. Fasting is okay. It'll make something else free. This turn's gonna suck. Let's play a skill potion. This turn's gonna suck. <laughs> um. Worship means we can eventually get triple damage. Halt means you can erupt halt and gain 10 block. But we can't leave the state. Dude, honestly, just give me the worship. I hate this turn, by the way. I, I absolutely hate this turn. We want to meditate whenever possible. What we should probably do is evaluate, miracle, play a potion, meditate, hold, dash, to make it cheaper. We are taking two damage, which is not that much. But now look at our hand, it's completely full of good cards. It's exactly what we want, right? We don't need to put up a lot of block. We should probably still play something. We are gonna play Dash. Might as well whip you. Might as well hold Dash again. Now it's free forever. We're, we're doing just absolutely no damage whatsoever. However, we can get Worship on this turn, which means we'll hit Divinity. which I think is imperative because we've got to do some freaking damage. And now we can actually use these insights. Well, I mean, we used them. <laughs> They're gone now. <laughs> but, you know, at least we killed the enemies. We've only done like 31 damage to the boss, though. 
Meditate we want, Empty Body we don't care about, Simmering Fury we do not care about. This is a slow play deck we've got here. I think next turn Simmering Fury could be pretty good. We do need to do some damage, although ideally we would just Meditate Worship, but we're probably not going to draw it. You know, we can we can try. Okay, I was going to say like, medi Worship, Meditate, Worship, but no, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve block. It'll be doing four. It'll be doing like fifteen damage. Actually, I also forgot to account for the added block from Talk to the Hand, so we're perfectly fine. Dude, honestly, keep eruption around. I just... <sighs> I have a hard time wanting to go into the Wrath State because we might as well just play the the worship card twice and then we're there, right? Dude, I gotta hit you. I wish I could do just a little bit more damage. <laughs> Let's try to go through the deck faster. Still holding on to these safeties for forever. Not gonna lie, this is way more inter interesting than I thought it would be. It's a very complex deck we've got ourselves here. I've got to be very careful about what I'm playing and when I'm playing it. We might be able to hit Divinity. We can. So we'll have five energy and triple damage. Do we need it? I don't think we need it. All we need to do is exit the uh, state at the end of the turn. It's kind of feel like saving worship for the future. Although, if you worship, you can meditate and make it cheaper, but I don't think we need to worry about that either. Instead, if we should kill you, weaken you. How much damage is incoming? 22 plus 37 is 59 divided by 2, it's about 30. We've got 30 damage incoming. Well, we basically have to meditate. And with 30 damage incoming, we have to play safeties to take no damage. So, we'll safety. Now we're taking none. We'll meditate and hold on to something that's not free to make it free, like um, Sash Whip or Eruption. Evaluate and Deceive Reality is also nice because they're free cards, essentially. But let's make some attacks free. This would be an okay time for worship. Except it's not, because we just don't have the damage. Now we do. So if we play worship, we're gonna have six energy. You can dash, sanctity, sash whip. We can meditate at the end of turn to get worship cheaper. I like it, I like it. Worship. Then we gotta kill you, we can do 40 damage. We can do 40 damage. We can do 40 damage with a Sash Whip Eruption on the Torch Head. So if Sash Witch Eruption is Sas Sas Witch, Sasquatch Witch. <laughs> We're going to, actually this is better. Strike, whip, dash, erupt, deceive, meditate, worship. We want to start making this card cheap. It's a very slow play, but you know, we're getting there. He's doing a buff? I can't tell because the animation stops and sometimes you can see what attack they're doing when you're scrying, sometimes you can't. I kind of hate it, but let's do it like this. You're doing 29 damage, gotcha. 
Well, we could worship meditate again. I do like a double sash. You're doing 21 damage, we have 7 block. 7 block means that we don't need to play too much more. A safety. Because we're going to Divinity next turn. And we want attacks, because he's probably. Yeah, he's, he's going to do another buff. So we'll worship. Oh my god, we just don't have the draw. <laughs> um, I mean, you might as well play it, right? Then you can do damage. Enter Calm. This is so slow. There's no way we're killing the heart at this rate. We need to find some other way of, of doing something. We're just not doing enough on, on these turns. So taking 14, need to play a little bit more. Give me a... My lord, I don't freaking know. <sighs> Give me a... Uh... Sieve reality, make it free. Worship we want, sash whip we want, evaluate we want. This might be a bit of a slow turn, but that's okay. Not the turn I wanted to see it. However, we gain a lot of energy and we can kill some enemies. So, how can I say no to that? We also did draw a very good card. Taking no damage. I mean, I'm realizing now the Wrath is just so slow, but the Divinity can get us there much faster. We probably want to focus on Divinity whenever we can. We might want to remove Simmering Fury and the uh, Eruption card and just like replace it with another Worship or something because we never want to be in the state at the end of turn because we're taking so much damage, but we just can't do damage if we're not in that state to begin with. Um, so if we draw, we're going to draw Eruption. Are we okay with that? We have literally no other attacks to play, so I'm going to say the answer to that question is no. Instead, we're going to dump cards. And then we're just going to meditate. And hold on to something. Hold on to your butts. We'll hold on to a... Sash Whip, we'll make this one free. Hey, Spider Cat Gaming has a new character. Fun. New character is pretty fun, I'm enjoying it so far. But it does lead to some interesting runs like this where I just kind of don't know what we're doing. <laughs> um, so we're in Wrath State. You... Hit, hit, hit. We want to draw, so give me an evaluate sanctity. We got more attacks. Uh, next turn we have worship coming up and an insight and an eruption. We could simmering fury and meditate like an inner peace. Let's do it. Simmering Fury. I like all those cards. We can't play Mantra, tr Mantra twice, which is unfortunate. Then let's, uh, you know, play it. Play it. Hold on to a, uh... Let's hold on to a Sanctity, because we can probably play it for free. In fact, we can definitely play it for free. And honestly, we'll just hold on to everything. You're doing 66 damage. Can I kill you? I still can't kill you! Good lord. Okay, 16 plus 18. Can that kill you? We got gotcha. you. 
<laughs> it's been done. We're at full health, but that was the longest fight I've ever seen. Enter Divinity, Ambrosia Potion. Interesting. So Diva Form, it's been changed. You now gain energy permanently through the fight. Causality, uh, it exhausts, so I just don't see the point. Blasphemy, uh, no. <laughs> so I'm going to say no on all of these. We don't care about energy. It seems like we have enough. Metaphysics, causality only being playable once, just, I don't care. And again, like, yeah, diva form, you get a lot of energy. I mean, unless you have collect, unless you have, you know, X cost cards, or you can go infinite, what's the point? You know, I'm just going to skip. Maybe there, maybe I'm missing out on something. I don't think so. And I gotta admit, Holy Water is interesting, but I'm just gonna go for the guaranteed energy of Cursed Key. Holy Water means that we'll gain extra block with Cloak Clasp, but we have Omomori. So let's just let Omomori protect us from the Cursed Key. Okay. <sighs> I have no idea. <laughs> we have to fight the Burning Elite, though, which means we have to go this path, and uh, I will go to the shop early. You never know if you're gonna get a good relic there. Yo, next turn is going to suck. We exited stance and got the energy back. I was kind of curious what happened there. Give me a card for free. I think Deceive Realities is one of the best ones because we need to block. Brilliance we don't need, Talk to the Hand we want, Simmering Fury we don't care about. Alright, these guys are doing a lot of damage. Will we erupt? We have Vigilance. We have no strikes. I'll take a Pommel though for draw. Do you erupt? Erupt? We'd have four energy. We could do... 16 plus 10 could do 26 plus 18 could do 44 damage plus 9 we can't kill anything so we might as well not play eruption we might as well stay in this state we'll hit and gain block Sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixteen plus 14 we have 30 block right now they're currently doing 25, 34 damage. We need to get just a little more block, just a little bit. That should get us there. Dude, what the hell are we gonna do on this run? I, how the, how are we going to kill the heart when I can't even do enough damage to the three Darklings to even have a chance of killing them at any, you know, point? I just don't understand what we're gonna be doing here in order to have a freaking chance. I hope we have enough block. I didn't run the math. Uh, we might take a little. Yeah, we'll take four. But hey, we get to draw more cards and we have brilliance. The whole point of brilliance is that we can use it to heal up, so. Okay, well, I, I gotta hit something. Okay, I think, I think we'll Simmering Fury. Let's meditate. But we have an Insight in hand. And next turn, it, where's my Worship? Did I, was that a, a potion card? That was a potion card. Dude, that's why we're having a hard time on these guys. We need to actually put a Worship in our deck. But we'll um try to kill him hard on this turn, I think. Pommel. Give me a... Give me a Sayish Whip. Please, attacks. <sighs> At least they're all getting low, but good lord. Um... We're gonna exit stance anyways. Are we gonna meditate? I don't think we need to meditate. 
but I suppose it does exit your stance, but so does this. 12 plus 9, 21 damage. We definitely have enough block, so give me a insight. No, we should have meditated on that one. In fact, you know what? Meditate, become, become cheap. Ascension level, ascension level four, yeah. Did I? No, okay, but we have eruption on the cheap. I think we should erupt. Eighteen damage. Not enough to kill. However, I can kill you. Keep drawing. Dude, we need more attacks in this deck. We just do not have enough offense. We've added like three attacks on a lot of like block and weird combo cards. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. What do we want in our hand? Dude, give me offense. Give me a pommel strike. We'll have double damage. We should be able to kill him on this turn, but good lord. These fights are are taking a million years. Please. Oh, we've done it. <laughs> Spirit shield. Spirit shield. Gain block for each card in your hand. It's basically a cloak clasp. Just lucky. It is a free attack. Windmill Strike gains damage when it's retained. Retaining also lowers its cost, and it's an attack that we can save for if we enter Divinity or Wrath. I kind of like it. We need an attack. We'll take it. Was it upgraded? It was not upgraded, which means it's probably never going to be upgraded, but that's okay. All right, we got to kill this guy quickly. We do have potions we can use if we need to, but I prefer not to. We do have a lot of, like, early powers that we like to play, and then after that, ideally, we just add a lot of retain cards and retain everything. Okay. Draw. For an influence, a five, a, um, you know? Will this channel plasma? I have no freaking idea. We don't have a, we don't have an orb, so I imagine it won't channel plasma. However, if I enter divinity state, it'll do an extra 24 damage, but it's not enough to kill. But Sash Whip would be able to do it, I think. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, okay. Well, if it doesn't... Do I want to slow play this or enter Divinity? Enter Divinity, this would do 72 damage. You would have 22 HP. This would do 24 damage. Orb build on the Watcher would be sweet, though. I, I, th I thought that if you had... You know, a, a, like a card in your deck that gave you channeling, you would get an orb slot. One, at least one orb slot, but I guess not. You know, I will, uh... Man, I really don't want to play the potion, though. I'm trying to think. You know what? F it. Let's slow play it. It's what we do on this run, apparently. We'll slow play it. He's half dead. We can talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. Insight for draw. Sanctity for draw. Okay, that should be enough. And next turn... Actually, let's just bring Windmill Strike back. It makes it do more damage and become cheaper. That seems like a pretty good combo. Get rid of the burn, definitely. In fact, if we draw a couple of attacks, we do have him. So I saved the potion doing this. It took a little bit longer, but I still think it was worth doing. Protect is a great card. Because it automatically retains. And with Establishment, I don't see why we wouldn't want cards like this. Sands of Time, we're going to take. We could also Dolly's Mirror. Um, what would we duplicate, though? 
protect, look, uh, talk to the hand, meditate. I don't think we want a mirror. Bag of marbles is nice, but I think we just want a little bit more offense, and the Sands of Time does give us a little bit more offense. Ah. <sighs> Protect is a Pokemon reference? Oh yeah, it is. Um, I mean prostrate is... What about magnetism? Add a random colorless card to your hand at the start of each turn. Which basically means you get two block and another card every turn. It could be good. Uh, but I mean, Sands of Time. After four turns, it's playable, does 20 damage. Double damage, possibly, with Wrath. Magnetism could give us Apotheosis. I'm gonna go Magnetism. We're not fighting the Awakened One. Let's go hard on it, see what happens. Um, I don't like these options. We could take Writhe, but we don't need the heal. I think I'd honestly rather hold on to Omomori, lose 4 max HP. You know, there's a small chance that we will be able to pick up a, uh, this. <laughs> Get cursed for 2 normality, gain 999 gold. Yes. Yoink! Now we're gonna go to the shop. I mean, the, it's literally exactly what we wanted, and actually preserved insect is nice. Uh... Start each combat week, who cares? Alright, shop. Yes! Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, scry. Might as well. Dude, honestly? We need offense? Alpha, beta, omega, let's do it. Talk to the hand, block, why not? Dead branch? What do we exhaust? We exhaust a few cards, but I don't think we want dead branch. Adaptation might be pretty nice. Evaluate could be good as well for uh, for draw, but I think at this point I just want to thin out the deck a little bit more. We could also buy fruit juice, flex potion for strength. Let's save our money. We we know that there's going to be more shops in the future. Um, but dead branch. I don't see dead branch being that good. We only have a couple of cards that exhaust, and. We, uh... Deceive Reality adds cards that exhaust. But we, we'd much rather just play our blocks, retain, and then just let Alpha, Beta, Omega kill him, I think. <laughs> we'll take Fruit Juice, we'll remove a basic strike. Now that we have Alpha, I think that's gonna be what we try to go for. We're, gonna, we're just gonna try to Alpha, Beta, Omega our way to victory. I don't really see any other option because we are so offensively impotent right now. We don't do any damage. <laughs> so, you know, we'll just, we'll try our best to play the cards as we, as we get them. And, uh, that'll be it. There's no point playing this, but I guess it's damage. We're gonna enter peace anyways. So, uh, give me, uh, give me eruption. Inner peace, deceive reality, evaluate, taking no damage. Until Dead Branch gives you Ragnarok. Even then, we don't care, do we? Because we have Alpha, Beta, Omega. That's the win condition for the run, I feel like. So, yeah, we don't care about entering Wrath State. We just want to wait until we hit Alpha, Beta, Omega, I feel. Glass Knife is pretty good. Plenty of block, we'll meditate, hold on to a... Deceive Reality. All we, all we need is block until we hit Alpha. We have the energy to make it work as well because... And Magnetism. We have the energy to make it work because we, um... We have five energy, and we have a miracle at the start of each combat. We can delay in these combats very easily. And we have the, the extra block from Cloak Clasp. Delaying in combat is not a problem. 
And if we retain cards, we make them very cheap. Dude, can I get beta at some point? <sighs> which means, all that means is that we're gonna have to shuffle again, which is annoying, but. Shuffle your discard pile. No, I wanna hit beta, I can't play this. At least not right now. All right. Does divinity affect Omega? No, because it's it's not doing attack damage. It's actually a power. Dump it. So there's Beta. We'll draw. We'll try to <laughs> draw. We'll try to draw through as fast as we can. Purity some stuff if we really want to. Um, I don't want to purity anything. Could purity vigilance, but you know, as soon as we hit Omega, we're able to play it. So just keep retaining. We're gonna dump everything. Ah, we should have gotten rid of some more cards because of transmutation. I forgot. We can't quite get there. We weren't in the state. We'll get there next turn, but still annoying that we're not there yet. Panache. A lot of rares. Shuffle three attacks into your draw pile. Shuffle three random skills into your draw pile. Uh, how about no? We done? I think we played everything. <laughs> everything we can possibly play. Yes, please. Thank you, Omega. Uh, dump it, dump it. It's fine. All right, we've done it. Just, it doesn't matter. Good Lord. Is there a perfect set of cards or relics that would let you get Omega in turn one? Yeah, I mean, Omniscience? then all you need is a little bit of draw. You can get, you might be able to get some free draw, things like um, uh, the zero cost, colorless, uncommon, gain two block draw card. You play alpha, you play the omniscience card, which lets you scry, you get rid of everything except for beta, then you draw it, you play beta, then you draw it, then you play alpha. So you, you could very easily do it. The problem is energy. It would take six energy to do it in one turn. We could actually do it because we have six energy, but it would still be uh, awkward. So I'm going to keep adding in stuff like Protect because why not? It retains and then gets better over time. It seems perfect. Core Surge, gain artifact, scrape, draw. I'll take a Core Surge, why not? Now we got to kill the daggers, but we do need to talk to the Hand Reptomancer. Okay, 11, eight, kill you. Give me a foresight, windmill strike. Uh, we're actually gonna take a little bit of damage. Oh, no we're not, because of plated armor. We're gonna get wounded, which is very unfortunate, but oh well. Dude, honestly, um, dump the basic defend, give me something else. It's so close to being good enough. I, I need to kill the dagger, but I can't. I can enter Divinity State and then kill the dagger. Because considering this is a burning elite, I'm very tempted to do that. He healed, that's why I don't have lethal on this turn. Ooh, we can't exit the state. No, we can with Empty Body. Okay. Yeah, we can kill the dagger in this case. It's annoying, but we can we can do it. We would have to play the miracle, and then we wouldn't have the energy for anything but these two block cards, but it would, you know, take 25 damage off the board. Or we could just play block, block, block. I gotta I gotta think about this for a minute. Okay. Five block, eight block. 
18 block. Okay, well it's 26 plus that's 31 block. If we play the Bottled Miracle, we can play the other Protect and probably take none. I think we're going to use all of our potions, but I think I'm okay with that. So now we're taking a lot of damage, but we can play Ambrosia. No, we don't need to play Ambrosia. We can just play Empty Body. And then we can play the Bottled Miracle. Gain some extra energy. Play Protect. We're gonna take like five damage, four, but hey, you know what? It's still, it's still pretty decent. You gotta go though. We did shuffle, unfortunately, but we we need to play alpha. Can't kill him. God damn it! <laughs> you have no attacks. Draw two cards. I I gotta get an attack. Good lord. I mean, honestly, he's he's not gonna do any damage, but it, I still hate it. <sighs> Dump it. Dump it. Finesse is good. We gotta play beta as well. I think that's the only way we're gonna, you know, get through the fight and in any meaningful amount of time. Protect, I would like to retain. We gotta start retaining this card to make it cheaper. So if we're gonna retain it, let's play the safeties. We're currently taking like six damage, not that much. If we Simmering Fury, we're gonna hit double damage next turn. Do we care about that? I, I actually kind of do. Because we need offense? Oh, we drew Meditate because of freaking Ink Bottle! I hate Ink Bottle! It ruins my card draw on such a regular basis. It is the worst card ever. <laughs> Every time I think I've, I've planned out my draw, that card is like, nope. Fuck you, buddy. <sighs> Okay, inner peace, enter calm, 16 times two. There you go. Now he's doing damage. I like all of this. Because we can exit stance, gain energy, draw. We have Omega. It made vigilance free. We can exhaust a wound. Also caused me to draw, which I hate, but whatever. Evaluate. We're taking no damage. Heal for three, end turn. We've done it. Reptomancer will be killed. <laughs> oh my lord. Just, just draw the blocks. I don't, I don't care about anything else right now. Is it a block? I'm gonna play it. Block, block. Sure, give me some draw. Uh, give me some block. Play this card for no reason and turn. What are you doing? Nothing? If you're not doing anything, I'm not even gonna give you the, the benefit of clicking on like selections. I'm just hitting end turn. End turn, die, you're dead. We get Molten Egg, perfect time for that, the end of the run. Ragnarok, you know, it's damage. Flurry of blows. If we're gonna rely on Omega, we don't need offense. F it, Omega run. Nunchuck, lovely. <laughs> Hey, uh, I didn't realize this, but Clockwork Souvenir is countering Gremlin Visage. 
which sucks if we're going up against the heart because we'd prefer to have it counter the uh, vulnerability, but we do have fasting in the deck. Yeah, so if we get lucky, we'll draw it. You're doing 11 damage, alpha. Let's give me a backstab, gotta kill you quickly. I'll take a Simmering Fury next turn. Having Windmill Strike and Talk to the Hand is pretty decent because it's damage. We need them both to kill as well, so we'll take those cards. Um, Protect is going to maintain. We are going to take a little bit of damage, but because we have Brilliance, we can always play that for healing. I'm just going to hold on to anything. Although we didn't play um, Establishment. We didn't have the time for it yet. All right, you're dead. Now we can wait for Omega to kill the Spiker here. We have no artif- oh, we do have artifact protection, we're fine. Uh, we are stuck in our state, but we do have a decent amount of block we can put up. This gets us there with the protect, so I'm just gonna play it. Safety is hilarious. I do like the art on it. Uh, we want to dump all of this. We'll hold on to Sanctity. We don't care about offense, we care about Beta and Omega, which are coming up soon. Establishment we want. Uh, we're still in Wrath state. Let's make sure we remove ourselves from that state. Still no Beta. Uh, we're not calm. This makes us calm. All right. It does take a while to get Alpha, Beta, Omega out, unfortunately, because you have to... You have to draw them on particular turns. But it is still... You know, it still does a good job. 9 plus 11. Might as well play it like this. Dump it, dump it. Dump it all! I don't care! If you Simmering Fury Sanctity, you can actually draw Omega on this turn. But you can actually do it anyway. Sanctity Inner Peace will get you there. So Sanctity, let's dump a Protect, let's dump a Dark Shackles. Inner Peace for draw. There's Omega, don't care. We got it. We've done it. We don't even need to play Brilliance. We're only one HP down. Okay. Just uh, put up some block and wait. Oh no, he's got so much block. Does he? Hey, we got Apotheosis finally. <laughs> That's what I was looking for all the all this time. Give me that sweet, sweet, every card in your deck is upgraded. Cut through fate, follow up, halt. No thank you. Darklings. Oh, Darklings! I actually have a counter to you now. Although it is going to take me a while to get to that point. Just, just wait there for a moment, I'll be back. I'll be back as soon as I draw the cards I need to draw. Uh, I got 20 block, I really don't want to play Eruption, although we could Eruption Inner Peace. Or we could just inner peace. I'm okay with that. We want beta, we want magnetism, we want evaluate. Because it's all block enabling cards. We could play protect. Or we can play Empty Body for the energy. So we'll do it like this. We got 19 block. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 7, wait, 19. We got 27 block. We're taking no damage. Give me back a... Give me back a Windmill Strike. Just for a little bit of extra damage. We haven't played Establishment. I keep forgetting about that. But having not played Establishment, we're actually not getting cards for free. 
So we do not want to shuffle, we want to hit Omega. Play that. 25, 34 damage incoming. Yo, Fiendfire. You know, we could use a Body Slam. You know? <laughs> Get out of here. Knocking an enemy out is not bad, because it means we have to put up less block on this turn, meaning we should be able to have the energy to play Omega. That's what I'm hoping for anyways. You know, now we can Omega. Keep drawing. Drawn block. An attack from your draw pile into your hand. None of this is good. Shuffle and draw one card. I don't know what I'm looking for, something free? <laughs> Body slam! <laughs> uh, what do we want? We want vigilance, we can't exit our stance. 18, they're doing 30 damage. We currently have 20 block, one, two, three, four, five, six, which means we're taking none. So, do it like this. Bum, bum, bum. Spirit Shield is the Theo of, of this game. It's not that bad. Hey, Morgilia, thank you for the cheer. <laughs> thank you very much. You're sad that five has been enough to keep Bit Leader this week. Yeah, no one cheers, but that's okay. You don't have to cheer. I like these cards. I would like to Brilliance also to get a little bit of healing. So we will, uh... I mean, really, you just... You heal. Power Potion. Probably better than a Fire Potion. Now, Third Eye does give us the scry that we would like to get in order to get through the deck in order to hit the um, Alpha, Beta, Omega. But we have things that let us scry. We have to get the key piece. We're fighting Donu Deka. I will probably use some potions here. Uh, I think an early power potion would be nice. It'll also make cards free. I like them all, actually. Uh, establishment to make cards cheaper, faster is pretty good. We do not have an establishment in hand. We don't really retain that much except for protects, but making them cheaper does help. Devotion for the energy and the damage is also good. I'm gonna go Establishment. Foresight. Fasting. Magnetism. Everything good is free. Uh, we are gonna take damage, that's okay. Nothing we can do to prevent that from happening. I guess we could have drawn and then maybe gotten some cards, but we weren't in calm state anyways, so there was no way we could do that. And here, you know, all we're hoping for is Alpha, Beta, Omega. That's our win condition. Clash. Can't even come close to playing it. Um, and Bullseye is kind of pointless. Although Bullseye will kind of knock out the artifact protection, but we have cards that do that anyways. But, you know, what else are we doing? I could have skipped, but I want a card in my hand. Okay, do we draw? No. Beta's, beta's coming up. Protect, we would like to save. Talk to the hand is not good damage. Evaluate is good block. Deceive reality is good block. And it makes a card cheaper next turn. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We are going to meditate the deceive reality there it is taking no damage we have a lot of cheap blocks coming up on this turn there's beta so omega will come up if i play insight so honestly we're going to insight omega it made something free deceive reality arc shackles Drew, um, get rid of that, get rid of that. Deceive reality coming up is fine. Sanctity will give us a draw, give us deceive reality. Establishment makes something free. Now we can't draw, which actually might be for the best. Okay. I'm okay taking like, z oh, zero damage. I forgot about clip class for a minute there. I'm okay taking no damage. 
And now all we gotta do is just survive for a couple of turns. Magnetism hits something. Should probably be paying attention to what it's doing, but at the same time, I don't want to. Give me a... I would like to make the Protects free. I'd rather play the free one than the expensive one. <laughs> In and out. You sting like a bee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen extra block. You're doing four, no, thirty-six damage? We got plenty of block. So with two establishments, the protects become free in one turn, which is really nice. And honestly, at this point, all we do is we wait. If we can hand of greed, why not? But other than that, all we gotta do is wait. Hey, nunchuck. Dude, I don't even know what to frickin' play on this turn, let's be honest. Uh, meditate Brilliance? Heal for 12? We have five safeties? Oh, we took damage. Look, I wasn't paying attention. We, we healed a full after the fight anyways, because it's Ascension 4, but it was still dumb. Okay, Donu is gonna die. I hit him one. No, he's not gonna die. We can hand of greed Donu. <laughs> yes! We've done it! It's not feed, but it's greed! So close. So close. Give me a magnetism. Give me a second magnetism. Why not? Protect, sanctity. Uh, 21, probably have enough block already. We'll hit ya, we'll hit ya, we'll, uh, uh, give me some draw. Give me a, give me a windmill strike. Give me some more draw. Sure, give me a free protect. Actually, whenever you shuffle your draw pile, scry three. Oh, it's shuffling the draw pile, or it, it's scrying and then shuffling. Really what it should be doing is shuffling and then scrying, that way I can shuffle and then draw what I want, I think. It's it's doing it in a strange order. Meditate, got plenty of block. And all we're gonna do is try to draw Hand of Greed, which is right there. So dump, dump, dump. Draw, 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 hey, we've done it. We're the greediest of boys. You really want to see this run to the end? It's been a long run, but we have not been offensively strong for a, since the beginning, since Cloak Clasp. We've only been able to do damage lately with the uh, Alpha, Beta, Beta, Omega, which is kind of unfortunate. At the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. Weird. I like it, though. I also like orange pellets. And I like mango. I wish I had more money. I also like mayhem. Except mayhem can hit meditate, which will uh, kill you. So we can't do that. All right. What we're going to do is um, we're going to buy some stuff. Retain block. We have enough retain block. We're going to buy orange pellets. We're gonna buy Horn Cleat. I mean, wouldn't you rather just have the max HP as opposed to the block? They're effectively equivalent, except that the block will apply twice. You know what? Horn Cleat seems like it's pretty good against the enemies we're gonna be fighting. And then just give me a potion. Let's do it. Still have the Divinity Potion. We have powers, we have attacks, we have skills. We have no debuffs to get rid of, but we will eventually get them. No reason to enter our damage state. We might want to play Bottled Miracle for passive block, but we got stuff to play first. I actually do like a Thunderclap. Purges our artifact protections.
We have enough block. So we should save everything else that we have. The protects are going to be very cheap. Alpha, we need. Fasting, we don't need. It'll make something free, but I think we'd rather try to draw into more blocks on this turn. Although, Fasting will make a card free. We'll play it. It can't make something expensive free, but we should be able to play, like, everything in our hand. Hey, Omega Vepin. <laughs> Thanks for the cheer, or the donation. I prefer Streamlabs. Jeff Bezos is rich enough already. Damn straight. Okay, talk to the hand. You might as well make him weak, gain block, and extra energy. Protect, protect, deceive reality. Uh, how much damage is incoming? 21 plus 21, 42 plus 7, 49. We have enough block. Save everything. Yo, we might make it to the fight at full health. Beta, we have to play. Simmering Fury and Sash Whip, we can dump. Beta. Magnetism. Omega is on our draw pile. Um, probably should have actually saved a little bit of extra energy for the turn, but, you know, we can turn around. We can play some block. We can retain a block. I don't care about taking damage because we have Pantograph. We can heal up easily. And also with Brilliance. Brilliance will let us heal up. Okay. 24 damage coming in. We have to play Omega. I would like a free card. We have a Meditate. So we don't need another Meditate. We might as well Nirvana to make something else free. Then we'll put a block, get more block, play more block. I'll meditate just to have a card for next turn. Give me the free protect. It's not the expensive one, but we have two free protects now. We will need to turn around. So Sash Whip does make sense here. Nash makes something free, inner peace. We don't need those on this turn. Yeah, we gotta turn around. Nine times four. I mean, we're, I mean, on this turn, I guess all we're doing is we're just playing everything. Because these enemies are dead next turn, thanks to Omega. Milk Jug, you ordered a new phone today? I bought my phone. Yo, this is a good turn. I bought... M I think you still do it. I bought my phone... Um, like a year and a half ago. And it was cheap and it's garbage, but it's mine. Tain, enter calm. Collect, upgrade and miracle into your hand. Halt. I, I don't think we need anything else. The extra energy is really cool with collect. You know what? We'll take it. Why not? Well, the answer to why not is that you probably don't need it, but why not? <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. You might as well add a couple of miracles. Uh, if we take damage, we will also draw, so we should not have played that, now that I think about it. Instead, we're going to Sanctity. Magnetism. Foreign Influence. I think a free attack is probably what you want to do there. We'll make him weak for a couple of turns. Um, play a power. Take one point of damage and we draw. We have to play Alpha, so we are going to play Miracle into Alpha. We did get a Protect. No Establishment, but the Protect is okay, and no Fasting, so we are going to be taking a little bit of damage, unless we can play a Power, a Skill, and an Attack. So we're gonna try to draw into a Power. We didn't, we actually didn't even draw into an, an Attack, but that's okay. We also gain 14 block thanks to Horn Cleat. 
So you're doing 30 damage. We probably have enough block right now, so we should try to stall. So, block, block, block. We did get our fasting out. We also have no attacks. There's no point playing anything. Um, we did get fasting out, so at least we have a couple of artifacts. We can't block any more debuffs from the boss, but I mean, I guess it's still good. We can block the negative from Panic Button, which does turn Panic Button into a really good block card. 23 block for no penalty. We also have to play beta, but we'll play this first because it's free. We have to play beta. And then you uh, protect, protect, all miracle to safety, and uh, end turn. Take two damage. Two damage is nothing. I think we're gonna be okay here. The bomb. Omega's coming up. It's a little late for it, but it is what it is. I can I, I wish I could draw one more card. However, we can at least get to meditate and talk to the hand. Ink bottle. <laughs> Ink bottle did it! It let me draw what I needed to draw. <laughs> We've done it. 50 damage incoming apotheosis. Love it. Um, let's discard those cards. Discard those cards. Play the apotheosis. Everything's upgraded. Not a great turn. However, if we play divinity, we'll have extra energy. So I'm going to do it. I'll do it. And then... One, two, three, four, five... We actually have enough energy for everything else, so we'll do it like this. I'll take a little bit of damage. We'll hold on to a Brilliance and an Evaluate. Echo Potion Omega would be sweet. Wish Omega would also be pretty good. Really wish that the uh, Diva form hadn't changed, though. The plated armor is really fun. Uh, we want blocks, so we'll take all the block cards we can get. Insight, retain, draw three cards. Well, Magnetism, we'll have two random cards in our hand. We'll protect, evaluate, sanctity, deceive reality. We have no attacks, so we can't stash whip, but you... Boss's artifact protection. We're not busting through that anyways. We need 60 block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, ten. That's enough block. Bah. I think it's a coin flip whether or not we win this one. This one, Morgiliath? Nah, we got it. 50 damage passively every turn. All we gotta do is delay. Occasionally getting out the bombs. We got it, we got it. We could also collect on this turn, which seems like a really good idea. I'm going to safety. We're gonna play some cards. Um, probably also play the insights. Empty body, brilliance, vigilance. I don't want those cards. Power made Sanctity free, but we're not drawing with it. You know what, let's hold on to the insights, just play Collect. We'll get a Miracle and a two random uh, colorless cards from now on. That seems pretty good, maybe. You're doing 90 damage, okay? Um... It's actually hard to put up that much block on this turn, but luckily we have enough cards that we can probably get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might as well play the miracle. Wow, um, four thoughts. I hate him.
Inner peace. If you're in calm, draw four, otherwise enter calm. Okay, we're gonna erupt. Inner peace. Insight. We have the draw. Block. Block. Okay, we're gonna live. But we are gonna take a buttload of damage because we haven't put any weakness on the enemy here. That's kind of extremely unfortunate. We've got 13 HP. Yes, please. What do we want next turn? Blocks. Every block we can get, please. Bombs are still going off slowly. Like, we've got one bomb every turn going off. I think we will live. I think we have enough offense right now, but it is a little sketchy. I would like to gain more energy, I think. Actually, we don't need to. We have Miracle. So Miracle, Bomb, Vigilance, and that sh should be enough block. Let's Meditate. Keep the, um, keep the Defend and Sanctity. You know, make the stuff free. Yeah, we got him. We will live. And I say that because I believe the uh, bomb and Omega will go off and do enough damage. Actually, the bomb's only going to do 40, so we have to hit for two, which seems pretty easy. But let's make sure we put up enough block on this turn. Weirdly enough, the bomb has been, like, a, a great source of damage. Should have played that. Want to play that to exhaust it. Oh my lord. This was a, uh... This was a sketchy run. And I can't believe that Alpha actually ended up being a good card. I've taken it in the past and regretted my decision, but you know, I saw that we had no offense but good defense, and I, I, I went for the gamble. And the gamble paid off. Oh my lord. <sighs> the slowest run of all time. But it was an Omega run, finally. And Ascension of War has finally been completed. A lot of energy. We had five energy. You need that energy for Omega to be playable. It's just so expensive to go through Alpha, Beta, and Omega. Six energy, and you have to get a lot of draw and get through your deck quickly. We made it happen. Establishment plus the Meditate is a great combination to make cards free forever. Meditate is just a good card. Enter Calm, and you can retain a card. It means that if you retain Eruption with Establishment, then you have a one energy Eruption that'll give you two energy when you play it, and it's guaranteed to be in your hand for the next turn. I love Meditate as a card. I think it's extremely good in the Watcher's deck. Alpha, I still think, is very situational. I think if you don't have Energy Relics, you shouldn't take it, but again, we had five energy, Six, if you count the Miracle, it seemed like a good opportunity to to take it. And I'm glad we did, because we freaking desperately needed it. I mean, the Guardian took 20 turns, the Collector took 16, Donu and Decca took 8, which isn't that long, but we, we got very lucky with the Alpha, Beta, Omega. Whew. And we almost died to the boss, but we were not applying status effects quickly enough. You know, we, we, we barely added attacks. So getting Sash Whip to actually apply the weakness is very risky. Risky? Um, slow is what I meant. It's also risky because you got to play two attacks instead of blocks, but it's slow because you have to have two attacks, so it's sometimes impossible to have happen. Still, fun run. I had fun with it. It's a, a victory, so, you know, all we can say is that we've learned. We've learned that Cloak Clasp as a rare relic is actually incredible as the Watcher, being able to hold cards, retain them, and get free block. Love it. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Slay the Spire.